Hi, my name is Isaiah Funderburg. I'm the creator and founder of Zen Music Productions. I have a group called So Highly ENT with many of my fellow students that I go to school with. Example, DJ A. Dixon, Deontay Reeves, and more. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a video that I produced with DJ A. Dixon. She helped me with a lot, so I wanna thank her for that too. Hope you enjoy. Positively, because number one, music it helps people relieve stress, and I never started getting into music until I was like my teen years. But when I found when I found how to do music, I, I became pretty good at it. So now I'm about to take it to the next level and hopefully be successful with me and my boys that I'll be rapping with. If I could change music, really I won't have nothing to change about music, but I would just change the way that. Cause everybody had their different styles of rapping. Me, I rap about stuff that that I do now. Like I don't rap about what I'm gonna do. I rap what I am gonna do, and like I just rap to show myself and how um, how I'm meant to be. When I'm stressed out, I really write. Like if I get in trouble at home and it's like stressing me out, I'll go to my room and write, and I keep a journal and pen on me at all times so I can write whatever comes to mind, and then I'll find a beat or something to go with it, and I'll just put it out there. My name is Cortez Fry, um, Robert Brown. My rapper name is Tez. Um, I'm drop that album soon, so pick it up. Oh. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. I think it's peer pressure. <laughs> Peer pressure. I think it's something that it just happens in like a family home or something. I think it's the loss of like either a father or mother, something like that. Well, I think that it's because children don't know how to act and they just act out because they don't get what they need at home. That's what? Basically bullying like each other around all the time. Depression. Mental issues. Violence. Yeah. 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 Because like, if um, you're friends with somebody who bullies other students, and you want to be their friend, they're gonna be like, oh, well, you should go punch this person because of whatever. And if you don't, then we can't be friends no more. Oh. Stick up for your friends and tell your administrators and teachers. Have a talk with your parents. Yeah. Telling the administrator. Have a talk with your parents. I witnessed teen violence at my old school, shout out high school. I was in the seventh grade. And it was this boy, Tyler. He used to get bullied. My friends, they used to pick on him a lot. I think he said some type of words to me and I tried to let it go, but I ended up fighting him. I felt bad afterwards because then the boys stopped coming to school. They said that he used to cut himself in. Just horrible. Well, last year, I witnessed it, and this girl, well, her boyfriend, like, was always starting trouble with people, never coming to school, and then, like, it was, like, this link or something like that on Facebook talking about people in our school, and then everybody wanted to fight her, and one time this girl named and she came to school for one day just to fight her. It was crazy.
AIDS is a virus, um, but it comes from HIV. Human papillomavirus can also be considered. However, what causes AIDS is um, transmission through unprotected sex. It doesn't matter whether it's anal, vaginal, or oral with someone who actually has the disease or contact with blood products or blood of someone that has the disease. And actually, HIV can be transmitted during pregnancy from the mother to the baby. Sometimes you don't know that you have it because you have no symptoms. While the virus is replicating or reproducing in your body, you may not know that you have it. So you can have it up to six months or even longer and not know you have it, but it's doing damage to your body that whole time. Anyone that's sexually active is at risk for getting AIDS. Anybody that um, shares needles, um, heroin users, people that use drugs that are um, not clean needles, and HIV moms that are going to have babies. How can people live with AIDS? It depends on when they're diagnosed. So diagnosed means when they find out they actually have it and start medication and what other things that person has. So for instance, if somebody already has a disease that um, maybe they have heart disease, they may not do as well as somebody that's younger and healthier, but it all is individual. You never can really tell, but you can live a very long life. Here at the school-based health center, it is a blood test that comes out of your arm. We send it to the laboratory and it comes back in a sealed envelope so no one else can see it until I open the envelope and share it only with you. At other places, you can have a swab go inside your throat or inside your mouth. It looks like a Q-tip and they can swab it and that one's immediate. That one you can get at any of the sexually transmitted disease clinics like on West Main Street. You can go in and have a, what they call rapid test. Mm -hmm. okay. Rochester's rate has incredi incredibly increased in the last two years. In fact, in teenagers it has increased quite a bit, over 25% I believe, and I'm not sure on the, on the numbers, but I can tell you in teenagers two years ago I didn't have to tell you that kids in Rochester had HIV from sex and now I have to tell you that because it is true. Um, men are having sex with younger women and that's how it starts and then it keeps rolling because people have sex with each other without getting tested. Okay, well thank you for your time. Well, you're more than welcome. Thank you. Keep on falling in and out of love with you. I, I, I never lost my heart the way that I love in you. Personally, I feel that without the arts, I have no clue to where my life would be today. 
From singing to writing, acting, dancing, and drawing, all the aspects of the arts have helped me and many others get by when times get rough. Me and many teens at the Cypher have a place where we can call our home away from home. A place where we can let go all the heaviness in our hearts and convey messages to others so that they can get the gist of what we go through and how they can better themselves and understand. We all go through our ups and downs through our life, but for us, the arts are what help get to spot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.